One thing I don't like about WordPress out of the box is the fact that when you do a search on your website, it displays search results for posts, which is good, but it also displays search results for pages, which doesn't always make sense. So let me show you what I mean by this. When we do the search on my website for, let's just say Tony, because this is a good example, we return our blog post down here, which looks really great because they all have their featured images and everything, but when you see up here that you have my about page and my contact page and I don't even know what this is. Uh, it's probably because I'm logged in, but that's just not something we want. We just want to show our blog posts have a grid like this as our search results. So we can fix this with a custom function, a custom plugin, or like I recommend doing in a child theme in the functions.php file. If you don't have a child theme for your WordPress website, I'll show you how to do that in one of my other videos up here. But if you do, you're good to go. Otherwise, just watch that video first and come back here to catch up with the tutorial. So what we're going to do is go into our dashboard and go to appearance theme editor. Now, like I said, you can actually edit your theme directly, which I don't recommend. I recommend you doing it in a child theme because there's minimal um, risk of screwing something up. Because when you work with the, the main theme here, you might screw things up if you don't know what you're doing. So what you want to do is do that child theme, make sure that's selected and go into the functions.php file. Add a couple lines below the last line in the file and then type in this code. I'll have this link down below for you so you don't have to type it in actually. You could just copy and paste it. Um, and also down in the description, I'll have a link to Generate Press, which is the theme that I'm using here, a theme that I use across all of my websites. So um, if you sign up for that, um, it's a premium theme. So if you sign up for it, I'll get a small kickback from the company for promoting their product. So thanks in advance if you go ahead and do that. Basically what we're gonna do here is uh, filter out all posts that are, or I guess all pages that aren't posts and only display them in the search results. I'm not gonna pretend that I exactly understand what's going on here, but the point is that it works and all we have to do is type it into our functions.php file. So once you have that in there, go ahead and click on update file, file edit it successfully, which is good. Let's go to our website again and do another search for Tony. And this time, we don't see those pages show up. We just see our blog post just like we want it. So that is it. That is what we wanted to do at the beginning of this video. We have done it. Not too bad, right? Just pasting in a couple pieces of code there. It does what we wanted to do. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.